Hello, my name's James. I'm in year four at Bath University and I study French and German. This is a day in the life of a languages student. Good morning, so it's a new day and I've just woken up. Been watching the news in German. So it's great to just start thinking about German as soon as you wake up and get in your mind thinking of the language. It's about doing little things often throughout the day instead of trying to cram all your language in at one go. I get the bus to campus. Today I've also got my uh, headphones with me because I'm going to listen to a French podcast on the way. It's one about cooking. I thought, why not combine something I'm interested in with French um, so I can get some practice in on the way up to uni. So in between lectures, I've popped to the library. Uh, it's a really good place to work. Also in the library, as well as, of course, books, there's a special language area where they have really great resources um, such as DVDs um, and music and also newspapers in the target language. There's also an online section where um, your lecturers and things upload um, resources so you can access these anywhere. What's great about the cultural modules at Bath is that it's taught in the target language. So that means that you're learning about the history, about the culture, everything that's going on in that country and has done in the past in the language. So you're improving your language skills at the same time. And Bath's one of the only places that do this. And yes, it's a bit daunting at the start because the lecturer is speaking um, and you might not understand but you just have to raise your hand, ask any questions, and they do speak nice and slowly, so you get used to it really quickly. Because languages are such a small department, your lecturers are really approachable and they know you by name. So you also have that personal aspect where you can just go and knock on your lecturer's door or drop them an email, and they're always really happy to help. And so if you're struggling, you really can get help. The languages have their own societies, and it's a great place to meet people who uh, are native, so you can practice your language with them, and also just people from your course, or people who are interested in those countries. And in a relaxed and fun atmosphere, you do loads of activities together. I can't talk about being a languages student without mentioning my year abroad. You'll find that all languages students constantly mention it because it really is the best year of your life. Mine started in Munich. I went there for nine months and I chose to do a work placement. I then went to Paris, another amazing city, so much to do, my weekends were always full, my language improved so much while I was there and you come back just so much more confident in your language skills and with all of these contacts from your time abroad.